Hi, welcome to Estutura LMS. Today, we will be creating the H5P activity, arithmetic quiz, and discuss how you can use it in your courses. This activity would encourage learning to students in a fun and interactive way. So let's get started. Once you are on the page or in the space where you want to put this type of activity, click Add an Activity or Resource and find H5P. Once you click it, you'll be directed to this page, where you will have to fill out all the necessary details before proceeding to create the activity itself. In this box, type in the name of the activity you will make. Let's type in arithmetic quiz. In the next box, add the description of the activity. Solve the equation and select the correct answer. You can display this on the course page to serve as an overview or instructions to what this activity is about and how it works. You can also edit other settings such as the H5P options where you can allow download, embed button, and have a copyright button. Under the grade setting, you can change the type of grading. For this activity, we will stick with the point system. And let's set the maximum grade or the perfect score to 20 and the passing score to 15. You can also allow your student to have multiple attempts and then decide which attempt score you will record. However, as noted, some H5P doesn't provide attempt tracking data. So in such cases, the setting will have no effect. There are also the settings for the common module, restrict access, and here under the activity completion, you choose how to track the student's completion, whether to have them manually mark it as completed, whether the condition should be met first, or choose not to indicate its completion anymore. If you choose to have the conditions be met first, you'll have to set the conditions for example, they should view the activity and be graded first before it can be marked as complete, and then set the deadline for the activity. You can also set a tag to help the course to be easily found, so it's basically like a hashtag on social media. Let's type in arithmetic quiz. There's also the setting for competency right here. Now, let's create the H5P activity itself. In the content bank, click add and look for the arithmetic quiz. Here we go. For the title, let's type in mathematics quiz. You can add an intro but you can also skip it since it's not a requirement. Under the quiz type, you can choose between arithmetic operations quiz and linear equations quiz. Then select the type of equation depending on the quiz type. For example, if I choose arithmetic, it can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. For linear, there is basic, intermediate, and advanced. Let's try first a basic linear equation quiz. Now let's put in the maximum number of questions. 5 there. Then for text overrides and translations, under it you can edit the language and the settings for the score where you can change the words for the score during the quiz, time, result page, header, go label, and so on. Now we can click save. There's no need for you to create your own questions, simply indicate how many questions you'd like the students to answer. So let's start. As you can see, there will be equations automatically generated for you. If the answer is correct, the sound will be like this. If it's wrong, it will be like this one and it will also show the correct answer. And there we have it. If you're not satisfied or you 
Want to change the quiz, you can edit it by clicking the edit button right here. And again, choose the quiz type, equation type, and the maximum number of questions. This time, let's try the intermediate with fractions and let's just have 3 questions for this. Save it and let's go try it. There we go, the question is harder and the choices include fractions. So again, you don't have to think about the equations yourself. All you have to do is set its difficult to type number of items and that's it. H5P will be the one to provide the equations for you. Okay, if you are now satisfied with the quiz, you can already close it. Now, going back to the course, click the box under the package file where it says you can drag and drop files here to add them because we will be adding the quiz right here. Look for the title of the quiz we made. We named it Mathematics Quiz. Here it is. Click select this file. Then we proceed and click save and display. And there we have it. Now that you have learned how to create arithmetic quiz in your H5P activity, you can already make this activity for your students. For more tutorial videos on how to make fun and interactive H5P quizzes like this one, you may check out the other videos at Estadora Learning is Made Extra Fun.